With Red Bull dominating the current era in F1, the trend of one team gaining the upper hand and staying dominant after a change in regulations has continued. With the next change scheduled for 2026, many fans are hoping that this trend is broken and that we get a more evenly matched field. Differing opinions have now started to emerge regarding these 2026 regulations. I'm your host Dylan Shelley and first up on Formula World, why Max Verstappen and Red Bull are utterly slamming 2026 regulations. Defending world champion Max Verstappen, as quoted by multiple media outlets, started off by revealing some details of the 2026 cars based on simulator work. I've been talking about that as well with the team, and I've seen the data already on the simulator as well. To me, it looks pretty terrible. I mean, if you go flat out on the straight at Monza, I don't know what it is, like 4 or 500 before the end of the straight, you have to downshift flat out because that's faster. He then explained what he thinks is the main problem. For me, the problem is, it looks like it's going to be an ICE competition. Like, whoever has the strongest engine will have a big benefit. He then reasoned why this isn't the right direction for Formula 1. I don't think that should be the intention of Formula 1. Because then you will start a massive development war again, and it will become quite expensive to find probably a few horsepower here and there. I think it actually should be opposite. He further highlighted a few more shortcomings. Plus, the cars probably have a lot less drag so it will be even harder to overtake on the straight. And then I think, yeah, you have the active aerodynamics which you can't control. Well, it will be, I don't know, the system will control it for you, which then I think makes it very awkward to drive. Of course, when you're behind someone, maybe you need more front or more rear, these kinds of things. If the system starts to control that for you, I don't think that's the right way forward. He also highlighted the potential weight increase and suggested that it would be bad. Plus, the weight is going up again, so yeah, we have to seriously look at this, because I mean, 26 is not that far away. And at the moment, to me, it looks very bad from all the numbers and what I see from the data already. So it's not something I'm very excited about at the moment. These comments come in the wake of a report by Motorsport in which a team principal, who many believe to be Red Bull team principal Christian Horner, cautioned against the 2026 regulations. This needs a lot of detailed analysis, because if we get it wrong, then it will not be good for the spectacle. We have to make sure we don't end up creating some Frankenstein cars that are not what was originally intended with the regulations. The proposed power unit rules require a 50-50 split between ICE and the battery. The supposed fear is that the battery won't be able to power the cars at top speeds on some of the longer straights and around the more power-hungry tracks. This could lead to drivers slowing down and trying different things to still have power into the next corner. He further explained how this could present F1 with unusual problems. We could have drivers left on economy drives to look after their batteries, or having to change down gears on the straights. There are those who believe that these aren't real problems, and that Red Bull are just saying this because they do not want the current regulations, under which they are dominating, to change, so that they can maintain the status quo. One such person is Mercedes team principal Toto Wolff, who had the following to say as quoted by race fans. That's not going to happen. Do you think that in all reality we are not innovative in this sport to come up with chassis and engine regulations that can avoid drivers shifting down on the straights? I think what frightens him more is maybe that his engine program is not coming along and maybe he wants to kill it that way. So you always have to question what's the real motivation to say something like that. Are Red Bull creating a problem out of nothing or is there a legitimate reason to be worried about the 2026 regulations? Head over to my community page to vote in the poll and let me know what you think in the comments. And if you liked this video, feel free to subscribe and check out my others for all the latest in the world of Formula 1.